What's up, nerds? Back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, a little bit of a state of emergency uh, right now, if you're a Yankee fan. And uh, it's great that right now we are up 2-1 to one in the series against uh, Kansas City. And it is great that statistically 73% of those games are won by the team in advance. It's great. However... Make no mistake, Giancarlo Stanton last night won us that game. Our team was asleep at the fucking wheel so bad that Giancarlo Stanton stole a base. The first base he stole it in four fucking years to get us to win this game. Single-handedly homering, doubling, scoring the fucking runs that won us this game. I mean, holy shit. I don't think people understand. In his post-game interview, he's talking about how he has been thinking about this ring and playing on the Yankees and making these things for years. For years. I mean, when you... When, well, when I personally saw him stealing that base, I was like... Holy shit, he is busting out every single move possible, imaginable to get the team like, like to wake them the fuck up. It's like, hey, yo, boys, John Carlos Stanton over here stealing a fucking base. Hello, can we fucking wake up right now? We're trying to win a World Series ring. Hello. So, I mean, holy shit. And then last night, I am sitting down watching the game. Sit there in the game, and I say almost exactly, if not maybe one word off, I say winning this game by one run off a John Carlos Stanton homer would be the most Yankee way imaginable to win. And then immediately after, he hits a fucking home run. And I have video proof of me saying that. And unfortunately, that means that I have made a deal with the baseball god, right? And so who knows what I have to pay for next. I am like, maybe I shouldn't even wear the hat. Maybe I should wear no Yankee apparel whatsoever. That's why I'm not even wearing a Yankee jersey. Maybe I should shave my head bald. Maybe I should like not wear shoes. I mean, like, I don't know what the fuck the baseball gods want from me. But but I'll do whatever you want, baby, because, like, holy shit. I mean, right after I fucking said that, he blasts a homer, and then we win by one fucking run. I mean... This is this is why I'm making this state of emergency video because I don't know what the rest of you people out there are doing. I don't know what the rest of the Yankee fandom is doing, but I'm playing my part. I'll sacri I'll sacrifice what I need to sacrifice for the ring, right? Fucking a. So holy shit. Yankees state of emergency. We gotta fucking wake the fuck up. Uh I was at the game two, Yankees game two, and to be honest. The stadium got pretty quiet during the fourth, fifth, and sixth innings. The stadium was pretty much dead quiet. And then once we started to get people on base, I mean, the cr crowd got a little bit loud, right? And in the beginning, I mean, it was when people were alive, right? It was not the worst. But to be honest, I mean, I've been at games this whole season, we chant judge every single time he is up. We are chanting MVP every single fucking time is up. Judge struck out at the beginning and we were chanting MVP and no one chanted again for the rest of the fucking game. So we need to wake the fuck up. We need to back our team. And I mean, like when... Even if they're not scoring, we need to keep the fucking vibes up. We need to keep cheering. I was doing my best to scream, do my part what I could, because honestly, I straight up, I saw John Boy Media's tweet about how you need to bring the energy, be the energy if you want the energy in the stadium. So I tried, but I mean, holy shit. I mean, like, it's brutal out there. Don't think... Don't be complacent. We need to fucking put in our part as Yankee fans. All right. Smoke, grass, eat ass. Be excellent to each other. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Deuces.